The most important single influence in the life of a person is another person who is worthy of emulation. I'm sure I'm not alone in thinking a dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. Growing up, I knew a dollar could last a while, and as a little boy, I usually mapped out my week accordingly. On Monday, I'd buy a couple of cookies after school. On Tuesday, five pieces of bubble gum. Wednesday, potato chips. Thursday, a hamburger from McDonald's. Friday, a soda. Saturday, candy. And Sunday, maybe a honey bun. You really did get more bang for your buck back then. Regrettably, a dollar isn't the only thing that doesn't go as far as it once did. More disturbing to me is the fact that many people don't either. Strange how easy it is to forget those who went out of their way to give you more of themselves than was ever expected. For me, it was a little old lady I only remember as Miss Valley. Starting when I was three until I was old enough to attend school, she provided me with the love, guidance, and nurturing that so many youngsters lack today. While my mother worked and my older brothers and sisters went off to school, Miss Valley would watch me as they called it then. She was not a babysitter, a nanny, a tutor, or anything like that. Just a nice old lady who was charged with watching me when no one else could. I'm pretty sure my mother never paid her more than a couple of dollars a week. On second thought, it's entirely possible my mother never paid her anything at all. The run-down wooden frame house in which Miss Valley lived became an informal training ground of sorts where I learned to mind my manners, respect my elders, and get along with others. I remember how Miss Valley used to wash my face each day with the same raggedy cloth she used to wash her dishes. Looking back, smelling like a stale dish rag was a small price to pay for the care and thought she put into teaching me right from wrong the three R's, and most importantly, that I could do anything I put my mind to. At four years old, I could read, write a complete sentence, add, subtract, and even multiply by two. I was no genius, just a kid who was blessed to be in the company of a little old lady who cared. For years, my mother would take me to visit Miss Valley, she appeared even older than I had remembered. The tattered little book from which I'd first learned to read still sat on the mantel. And a dishcloth similar to the one she used to scrub my face rested neatly folded on the edge of the kitchen sink. I'd smile to myself and think how good it felt to visit the home of the little old lady who gave me more than I could give her in return. Around the time I started high school, I stopped visiting her. It was not intentional. I suppose like many teenagers, I began to get caught up in my own little world. One night recently, for no apparent reason, I began to think of Miss Valley, her selflessness, and all that she'd given me that I could never repay. I tried to imagine her as she was then, but the images I conjured up were vague and distorted. The woman who gifted me with the ability to read and write, who taught me to dream beyond what I could see, was now a distorted and vague memory. I was heartbroken.